What is up guys and welcome back to another re challenge video with me the real deal So today we're gonna to be taking on stage 15 spirit affinity iron twins So I've got a really cool team for you guys. Um, it's a 100% win rate um, which is obviously really important because no one likes to burn energy um, So yeah, let's just get straight into it and then I'll talk you through the gear and the masteries So this is the team guys. We've got Stagnite, Godseeker, Mithrala, Duh and Geomancer. So Stag Knight is amazing for this boss. He does decrease attack and drop defense. However, you may want to turn those off and only do his A1. Um, it's all about his slow. So we slow down the boss. That means we can get more heals in. And what happens with this boss is basically when you reach certain thresholds on his HP, he cleanses himself, turns around and does some big old smacks to the team. Um, so basically if you put a slow on him, um, that means you've got more time to sort of heal in between those and keep everyone's HP topped up so you don't drop when he turns around and smacks you. Um, Godseeker, what an amazing champion. She is probably one of my favorite champions in the game. You can use her in so much content and she's only uh, a Void Epic, so she's very obtainable. But um, yeah, so basically you can use her in Clan Boss, you can use her in Dungeons, you can use her in Doom Tower, um, boss, um, and Doom Tower bosses. So she's viable for like all end game content, amazing champion. But what's she doing for us in this? She's doing loads of healing. Um, she extends our buffs. Um, but also she has two revives. So basically if someone's about to die, she puts revives on deaths on them. So they come back to life. And then if that's on cooldown, she'll revive them. And that revive also has reduced cooldowns as well. So say Geomancer dies, she'll pick him back up, uh, put his skills on cooldown. So they reduce the cooldown of his skills. And then that means he can throw his HP burn again and start doing more damage, which is just absolutely brilliant. Mithrala, I think everyone's using her. Um, so basically, she throws out Hex, which means all of our abilities do more damage. She's throwing out Poisons, which helps speed up the run. Um, she also cleanses as well and puts on Shields and Strengthen. So Strengthen's going to give us more survivability, reducing the damage that we receive. Uh, duh. So I don't think... You can't say it without... Duh. But yeah, so Dirt, great champion as well. Um, I think really underrated and is great for this. Uh, I know lots of people are using duchesses and stuff for this, but not everyone has a duchess. Um, so Dirt, what does she do? Is it a she? I think it's a she. Um, basically does loads of healing, uh, reflects damage, so it's doing a little bit more damage for us. But the other thing is um, she has two, she can oh revive two bitch. champions at once, which is absolutely amazing. Geomancer, I think everyone's using uh, Geomancer for this. So... Um, obviously, Geomancer, HP burns, doing loads of damage, but it's mainly his passive, which is just pumping out all that damage for us and killing the boss. I mean, look at this, 3.8 million damage from Geomancer. I mean, he is essential for this, and I think everyone is pretty much using him for Iron Twins. Uh, Duh, 600k healing just by herself or himself. I'm not sure. I can't remember what gender they are. Um, Godseeker, not doing too much healing, but... You know, like I said, they've got two revives. So if something does start to go wrong, she's going to pick people back up. Um, Stagnite is not doing loads of damage, but that slow is essential for this run. It really does help with things. And Rathrala is doing like almost 600k damage as well. So she's actually helping speed up the run as well. So that's two minutes and 19 seconds. So that's a pretty quick run. And this varies between sort of two minutes to three minutes runs. So it's pretty quick. But anyway, let's uh, let's check out the team's uh, gear and stats. First up, we've got Stagnite. So I actually had to re-gear mine for this boss. And my God, I must have spent about 30 million silver leveling, well, rolling gear and re-gearing champions for this boss. But anyway, um, gloves, we've gone defensive, accuracy chest, speed boots, um, defense ring, um, HP amulet, and then an accuracy uh, banner as well. Uh, total stats, we've got 46k HP, 3.1k defense. I would like that to be a little bit higher. I think 3.3k defense is sort of should be around your minimum. Um, speed, 231. And then accuracy, 537. It'd be better if it's around 550. So you want 550 to 600 accuracy. Um, one of the really important things to point out is that he attacks an enemy two times and has around um, 50%. Is it 50 yeah, 50% chance of placing decreased speed. Um, and the mastery that's really important to take on him is Sniper. So Sniper gives you an extra 5%. So that's 55% chance hitting twice. 
to land that slow so that's really important um, and then the rest is just sort of accuracy um trying to keep us like keep our turn meter going so we get more turns or so a bit faster and it's just all about damage and survivability on the offense tree so that's stagnite next up we've got duh duh the hungerer so it turns out it is a dude i'm not sure why i thought it was a chick but yeah just did the boob check yep it's definitely a bloke um so gear we've gone immortal and regen uh, gloves hp defensive chest speed boots ring defense hp uh, amulet and then resistance on the banner to be fair um he probably does need a re-gear um i'll probably change the banner to um hp just a bit of, a bit more of survivability so we've got 54k hp um 3.5k defense 219 speed and then the rest of the stats don't matter um, that was one of the mistakes that I made when first gearing champions out for the Iron Twins is that I thought I really focused on resistance and I had all these champions with like 600 resistance and they were still dying when the boss got really like to the end at the end where like he does even more damage. So it just turns out that defense is actually you should prioritize defense over resistance. You'll have better survivability and um, he's actually got no masteries. Um, if I was to take masteries, the most important ones are. Um, steadfast gives you more HP, so a bit of survivability. Lay on hand, so better healing. Um, healing savior as well is a great one. So if their HP does drop below 40, they're going to have 10% more healing. Um, rejuvenation, so that means you're going to do more healing as well. Blast proof as well, so it reduces AoE damage by 5%. Um, and then the last one that's really important is delay on death. So basically, that's going to reduce damage it received from the boss. So those are like the most important um, masteries. Um, next up, we've got Geomancer. So this angry little garden gnome. You know, everyone is using him for Iron Twin. Um, I think the only way really to go with him is Triple Perception because it's going to be really hard to re that, reach that accuracy threshold without it. So gloves, we've got defense. Um, accuracy, uh, accuracy chest, um, HP boots, defense ring, um, HP amulet, and then an accuracy banner. As you get, this is an awful banner, but it's the, literally like the only one that I could get for dwarves that was six star. Um, so total stats, we got 48k HP, 2.5 defense. I'd love that to be around 3k, um, 200 speed. Then 559 accuracy. Accuracy is fine. Would like it to be a little bit higher, but it's okay. Just there at the minimum. Um, masteries. Very standard masteries for um, Geomancer. So basically just all about damage and cycle of magic as well. Just to have that chance of reducing our A3 so we can get more HP burns out. So Geomancer. Uh, Godseeker. So Godseeker number three. Um, we've got Fortitude, which you get from Bommel and Stalwart. So Stalwart was a great set for the Iron Twins. Really helps reduce damage that we're receiving. Uh, we've got HP Gloves, Defensive Chest, um, Speed speed Boots, uh, Defense Ring, Defense Amulet, and Defense uh, Banner. 44k HP, 4.1k Defense, 200 Speed. And then none of the other stats really matter. And then all about those masteries. So same again. And this is unfortunate where I did take um, Unshakable when I was trying to, um, you know, just focus on that resistance. I don't think Bulwark would be a very good option though. But maybe um, Timely Intervention would be good. So that basically, um, you know, increase our turn meter so we can help revive champions, which is great. And then last up, last but not least, we've got Mithrala, who's right at the top. There she is. So Mithrala, great champion um, for, um, you know, I would definitely say that if you're going to build her for PvE and PvE, Triple Perception is definitely the way to go. So gloves, we've got defense, um, accuracy chest, and HP um, boots. So this ring should be defense or, uh, or HP. But the reason it's um, attack is basically it's the only reaction gear that I've got 
that has the stats that I need. So unfortunately, that's why I have to go attack. And we've got HP, um, amulet, and then an accuracy banner. Wish it was six star, but unfortunately, it's just the way it is sometimes. So we've got 59k HP, 3.4 defense, 229 speed, and then 619 accuracy and 225 resistance. So basically, with a aura, that means we've got about 1,000 resistance. So, um, yeah, just an amazing champion. And resistance is kind of important on her. You do want to focus your accuracy. But, um, you know, a bit of resistance in there does help bump up her resistance. And then I think these are just very, very standard masteries for Mithrala. Um, yeah, just all about getting that eagle eye. And, yeah, counterattacks are brilliant on her as well. So, yeah, great, great champion. Yeah. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if anyone does have any like team comps that they do have that work on Spirit Affinity, um, Iron Twins, please do share in the comments. You know, just tell us, you know, who are you using, what gear sets, and what stats. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Help, help your fellow raid players out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.